Hello, welcome back. Today I'm at the Walnut Hill Cemetery in Council Bluffs, Iowa. We're going to be visiting the grave of Ruth Ann Dodge. And then later we're also going to be checking out her memorial, which is known as the Black Angel. It is one of the most famous cemetery monuments in the Midwest. So I'm going to tell you about her story as we go look for her grave. It is really beautiful here this time of year with all the trees and leaves. I'm just loving these cemeteries in Nebraska and Iowa. So Ruth Ann Dodge was the wife of Grenville M. Dodge, one of the most accomplished men of the 19th century. Trained as a civil engineer, he rose to the rank of general in the Union Army during the Civil War. After the war's end, he helped plan and direct the building of the first transcontinental railroad, an engineering feat involving thousands of workers. Ruth Ann was a fitting match for her talented husband, often accompanying him on his business dealings around the world. She loved gardening, music, and art, and was also a skilled horsewoman and excellent marksman. An avid reader, she helped found the first public library and council gloves and was a passionate supporter of women's suffrage. Thanks to her unusual memorial, she is better known in death than in life. After her husband's death in 1916, her own health rapidly declined. One night she had a dream so vivid it was more in the nature of a vision. She was standing on a rocky shore when a boat approached her out of the mist. It was carrying an angel, tall and beautiful, who held a basin of water. Drink, the angel said. I bring you both a promise and a blessing. Ruth Ann declined the offer, later telling her daughter Anne, I felt unworthy and it seemed to me it would be presumptuous on my part to partake of anything so wonderfully pure, so heavenly, so spiritual. Then the dream came to her again a few days later, the same as before. Once again, Ruth Ann told the angel no. But when she had the dream a third time, she accepted the offer of water and in the process felt that she'd been transformed into a new and glorious spiritual being. She said, I drank of that wonderful water of life and it gave me immortality. A few days later, Ruth Ann died. Deeply moved by what their mother had told them before her death, two of her daughters commissioned one of the country's leading sculptors, Daniel Chester French, to create a monument in her honor. French did his best to portray what Ruth Ann had seen in her deathbed visions. He would later go on to create the famous statue that stands at the center of the Abraham Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. But he said to have considered the Ruth Ann Dodge Memorial his favorite piece. Now there are many stories told about the angel. One says that she leaps off of her pedestal at night to fly around a nearby graveyard. Another claims that if you look into her eyes at midnight on the anniversary of her death, you'll have an early demise. And they also say, if you touch the angel's hand, that also sometimes you die the next day. I see some Dodge family graves here but the Dodge mausoleum is coming up right here so we're going to take a look at that On the outside, there's a plaque that says 
Grenville M. Dodge, Major General of the United States Army, 1831 and 1916. Through the efforts of General Dodge as Chief Engineer of the Union Pacific Railroad and the foresight of Abraham Lincoln, Council Bluffs became the hub of the first transcontinental railroad. You see the mausoleum says Dodge up there. You can kind of see that's Ruth Ann down there on the bottom left. I can see it says Ruth Ann Brown Dodge. Whoa. May 23rd, 1833 to September 4th. September 4th, 1960. I don't know what that is, but I heard some like weird voices, guys. Kind of creep me out. Okay, there's a truck driving by, staring at me. That was weird, I feel like someone whispered into my ear. That was creepy. Okay, there's a nice stained glass window. And I think, I see, I'm not sure where her husband is. I don't see anything down there. Maybe he's in the back. See something in the middle. That might be him, I'm not sure. Hmm. Very cool. Yeah, what's um, really weird to me is actually the her Black Angel Memorial isn't even at the cemetery she's buried in. It's actually like two miles away at another cemetery. So we're going to go head over there next to go check out the Black Angel. All right, so here we are at the famous Ruth Ann Dodge Memorial. Here's a little plaque here that said it was dedicated in 1920. The angel on the prow of a boat extends her hand and offers the water of life. The artist was the American sculptor Daniel Chester French, 1850 to 1931. It really isn't this beautiful little park area. So let's go check out what they call the Black Angel. Wow. That is pretty amazing. So it's actually a bronze statue, but because it's so dark, that's how it got the nickname, Black Angel, but it is bronze. You can kind of see there, maybe some of the water is rubbing off. But normally, I think this is a fountain, probably more in the summer months. There's some writing over here. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Matt 5 8. And he showed me pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. Let him that is a thirst come, and whoever will, let him take the water of life freely. And there's another little plaque over here. To the blessed memory of her beloved mother, Ruth Ann Dodge, born May 23, 1833, died September 4, 1960. This memorial fountain is lovingly dedicated by her two daughters, Ella and Anne. Her children rise up and call her blessed. 
What's really strange is there's a cemetery right here. I believe this is the Fairview Cemetery. Which looks pretty cool. It's all on a hill up here. But this is not the cemetery she's buried in, so I'm not sure why her memorial is at the cemetery, but why it isn't at the other one we were just at. We'll go check out the angel again. It is beautiful. And also very creepy at the same time, so you can see her hand is rubbed off a little, so some people do dare to hold and touch this hand, despite the urban legend that once you do, you die afterwards. So you can see some have, uh, have touched it, and I don't think I'm going to risk it. <laughs> I want to see the back of her wings here. Wow. Absolutely gorgeous. Hope you enjoyed that video and getting to see the grave and memorial of Ruth Ann Dodge. Please like and subscribe for some more videos and I'll see you at the next grave. Thanks.